What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action which is get at mention token for a user. So what does this mean? So if you're familiar with things like Twitter or Microsoft Teams, you'll know that there's a functionality to at people. So you type the at symbol and then go at, you know, uh, D365 Geek on Twitter, and it will put, send me a message to sort of say, or, or tag me in that thing to say, hey, this is about you. So in Microsoft Teams, you have the same function. You could do, say, at channel, at person at um, you know a team and then you can notify people that there is a mention in that thing in that team so what this allows us to do is actually get that token to use now i know you're probably thinking why can't if i want to post a message using power automate why can't i just write at and then write their username power automate and microsoft teams will interpret that as just being text like just being a string and not necessarily you wanting to at token someone or at mention someone so there's a specific action that allows us to do that and that's what we're going to take a look at today so i'm in power automate i have a manual trigger flow and i can click on new step and i can go to microsoft teams it's right here in the connectors scroll down until i see get at mention token for a user preview it's only requesting one piece of content at the moment, and that is the user. So it says specify user principal or user ID to at mention. So specify their sort of like ID in um, Azure ID or user email address. So in this instance, we're just trying to use an email address. So I'll just copy my email address out from my settings here. Copy that in. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work properly. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it just needs to type the dot on Microsoft bit. Uh, and that's what we need. So after that, what we'll do is we'll post a message to a Teams channel as well. So we'll scroll down and we'll find post a message V3. And we'll specify the team. We'll choose my MCJ demo team. It's the one we've been using for our testing. So we've got a single channel at the moment, the general channel. And we'll go, um, hey, and then we'll add the at mention token. So I'm going to my direct content. There is a single output from that token, which is the at mention token. So we say, hey, at mention, um, can you give me a call when uh, you are back in the office? Um, now, you wouldn't really use one of these. You'd probably just say, hey, there's a new piece of content you want to look at or something like that. But hey, just a, just a, a way we can use this. I go, hey, person, can you give me a call when you're back in the office? So we will hit uh, test. So we'll test this out. I'll perform a trigger action. We'll save and test. Uh, yeah, that's still on there for some reason. It shouldn't be, but whatever. Click that. Um, I've just got, I've got a trigger input here for some reason uh, for my last few tests. So the flow runs successfully, so that's great. If we go over to my Microsoft Teams, we can see just posted now, hey, Matt Collins, can you give me a call when you are back in the office? Uh, it was posted by me because I'm the one triggering the flow and therefore I'm the owner of it and that's why it's posted out by me but at least it gives us that at token we can see there's a little at symbol there to see that I've been mentioned in something and that's how you use this this is how you get a at token so you can't just write it when you're posting a message you actually have to go off and get that at token and pass in the email address or the ID of the user and then you can use that in Microsoft Teams so a really handy function a really handy action inside of Power Automate what do you guys use this for let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video if you could like and share it with your friends that would be appreciated if you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.